heavy rains in the metro may have contributed to this. Two Liberty High School teens crash into a fire hydrant. Minutes later, their car starts to sink to the ground. A crash, shooting water in a massive sinkhole. It's how two teenagers ended their afternoon. We brought it to you as breaking news on Fox 4 News at 5. Fox 4's Megan Brilly is live at the corner of South Withers Road and South Wales Drive in Liberty, where that accident caused quite a scene this afternoon. Megan? And luckily, no one was hurt, but the teens involved say it was quick thinking that kept them alive. This is all crazy. Me, I'm actually a pretty good driver. I've never, <laughs> never gotten in a wreck or anything. But Wednesday afternoon, that all changed. Austin Ord was in the driver's seat going southbound on South Withers Road when he says a car traveling north started to turn into their lane. I don't even really know how to explain it because it just happened so fast. It was just like boom, boom, boom. Ord turned quickly and crashed into a fire hydrant. Next thing I know, water's spraying everywhere. I'm just, my first reaction is I need to get out of the car. I need to get my sister out of the car. Ord was able to escape and ran to his sister. Austin came over to my side and he's trying to like get me out of the car. And so I crawled over. The two both got out. Their car started to sink head first further into the ground. Probably five, ten minutes my car was already completely full of water. Water was flowing out of my trunk. Ord's high school buddies were watching from across the street. I just saw um, Austin's car going sinking down. I was like, ooh, I hope he's all right. Austin and his sister at a safe distance watched with the crowd, puzzled at how it all happened. We both called our mom. Ford's sister Inez says she's just grateful her brother was behind the wheel and that they're alive. If we would have hit the car, it would have been a whole different story. It would have been bad. I'm just happy that I'm healthy and my sister's healthy. Nobody's hurt. And everything's okay. Police tell me the driver of the other car stayed near the scene after this all happened. They also say that it's still possible that a driver could face a citation. Megan Burley, Fox 4 News, working for you live in Liberty.